So this is the butternut squash from Seeds of Change. I'm not gonna harvest all of them. I'm just harvesting some of them, mostly because I haven't gotten to the grocery store and we're out of baby carrots inside. It was a nice surprise seeing all those tomatoes growing in the strawberry bed still, and <laughs> they do, they're doing better than a lot of my other tomato plants that were uh, started with purpose. <laughs> What's up? My name is Crystal. Welcome to our channel. I am out here harvesting a bunch of peppers and things from our garden. It is October 8th, 2023. We live in Connecticut and it is for sure fall time here. We have temperatures hovering between mid, around mid 40s at nighttime. It's like 60 degrees today and it's definitely cooler outside, which means all my really summertime plants, so this, the peppers, the tomatoes, the eggplants are pretty much done. I didn't get much from them this year, but we are picking some of the funny looking things and lots of the underripe things, but some not. This one is a King of the North bell pepper that I just picked that actually turned red and didn't rot on the plant. I'm just gonna quickly go through here and pick all of the things and I will be doing a garden cleanup video at some point. It is a mess out here. We still have things growing. I have carrots, beans. I actually have a zucchini plant and a summer squash plant that I started later and those are starting to produce flowers. So we'll see if we get anything off of those. I'm just gonna be harvesting the sweet peppers, hot peppers, a lot of the tomatoes, whether they are ripe or not. So ripe or not, here we go having to compete with the spiders in here. They have peppers down there, but there's a spider there. I think the spider wins today. I, I, I can't figure it out. From Baker Creek, we have some Amish paste tomatoes. Got Rosella cherry tomatoes. Pink bumblebee cherry tomatoes. California wonder bell peppers in here. That do not look great. And Dr. Weish's. From M.I. Gardner, a Crimson Sprinter tomato. Triple crop tomatoes, mountain princess tomatoes from big, from high mowing organic seeds, canary bell pepper, a lilac bell pepper, a purple beauty bell pepper. I've got Ozark giant peppers a King of the North bell pepper, and some more purple peppers. All right, so we have a bunch of pumpkin spice jalapenos here. They're supposed to turn, oh, that color, a nice pumpkin-y color. There's another one down here. Lots of them grew unicorn horns this year. I'm really not sure what that was about. Many of them have not ripened, and I don't actually expect them to on here. Let's harvest all of the pumpkin spice peppers. I need a bigger container.
This pumpkin spice plant we grew in a container, in a fabric pot, and it did okay, except many of them turned purple instead of orange, but they'll still be good. And then there's the Craig's Grande jalapenos, also from Baker Creek. I got a lot of these early on in the season. They did really well. And then I have cablanos and just regular hot jalapenos in here. couple poblanos. These are the Mountain Princess tomatoes from High Mowing Organic Seeds. And over here I have a mixture of organic Roma tomatoes from Burpee and Roma VF tomatoes from High Mowing Organic Seeds. This is the butternut squash from Seeds of Change. Year after year, it does not disappoint me on this trellis. It looks like this one is ready to be harvested and this one. This one not yet and the other one not yet. We also have honey nut squash. It's very similar to butternut squash. It's a little bit sweeter, I think, and they're smaller. So this is the butternut squash from Seeds of Change. And that is how that one looks. How I tell if it's ready to pick or not is I don't really do the thumbnail test because that's never been quite effective for me. I usually try and make sure there's no more green growth on it. And I also, which there is here, but that's not the indicator for me. The stem is kind of starting to turn brown a little bit. The comparison would be this one here is not yet ready to be harvested. There's a lot of green still throughout it and the stem itself is still really green and there's just a big difference in color. So this one has a much more tan color like you would find in a butternut squash and this one's still white. So this one's ready to pick and this one's not. I've been able to get a fall harvest of peas this year. I planted peas over here for a couple of reasons. They're really good for putting nitrogen back into the soil, which is good long term. It's really nice having this late harvest of peas. These are the red cord chantonay carrots from the Dollar Tree. This was my second round trying to grow them. The first round did really well, and I started these ones on July 23rd of this year. Let's see how they do. I'm not gonna harvest all of them. I'm just harvesting some of them, mostly because I haven't gotten to the grocery store and we're out of baby carrots inside. Oh, not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Not bad, a couple carrots for the kids with dinner tonight. This is what's left of what used to be our strawberry bed. It's awful. Anyway, there's a lot of random tomatoes growing, so I'm gonna harvest some of those, including some of the green ones. That one I think is supposed to be a crimson giant that I transplanted in there at the beginning of this summer, and then the one growing in the strawberry bed, I'm not sure. It came up all by itself. for random tomato plants in the yard. 
Well, I got a lot of things today. Not as many tomatoes as I would have liked, but that was a nice surprise seeing all those tomatoes growing in the strawberry bed still. And <laughs> they do, they're doing better than a lot of my other tomato plants that were uh, started with purpose. <laughs> it's fine. I think one of my goals for next year will be uh, to get another handy panel trellis for the butternut squash because it does really well that way. It's just one of my favorites. I love turning it into soup and I never have enough to pressure can. I would really like to can up some butternut squash soup. I also like making pasta sauce with butternut squash. It's really good. It's so good. Here's how the harvest looks. We got a ton of jalapenos and then we got some peppers and tomatoes it's gonna get chilly tonight, but we're not near freezing temperatures yet. So I'm not super panicked that anything's gonna get really damaged. But I have noticed slower growth with the fruit that's growing on everything. I have to get back inside because I am making applesauce and that'll be in another video at some point. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. We really appreciate you and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.